welcome to Hairstream TV in NYC. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hairstream TV in NYC. Today's tutorial is with the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia of Beverly Hills. Still sold in stores. It's a great palette to have in your collection. Hair and makeup people love that palette. I have worked with a client who is Asian and I wanted to share that with you guys because I don't see enough makeovers out there. Uh, by professionals on Asian skin and eye shapes. So I wanted to be all inclusive and I figured everyone has a modern Renaissance palette in their um, kits and in their drawers, makeup drawers. So hopefully you'll like this. And if you do, give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Please subscribe, leave your comments and all that good stuff. If you are interested in this hat, which is for sale on my website, groomingroom.com. Isn't that lovely with all these peacock feathers? I love to repurpose vintage clothing and hats and accessories. So check out my shop if you want to shop a little if you don't that's okay all that extra money helps me to bring you guys content well, thanks so much because i'm not sponsored by anyone all righty i really appreciate everyone stopping by and supporting my channel thank you bye okay with you we're gonna go with max studio sculpt foundation here okay i'm gonna put it on my hand Super light. There we go. You can see it there. Great. It's so light. It's also uh, Real Techniques brush that I, I dampened it a little bit just so that it spreads easier. Always add more. You can't take away, so this is all buildable. And I love the Studio Fix because it's great for photography. It gives you a gorgeous finish. Yeah. And this palette. Wow, this is a good match for you. That's the thing about matte makeup. They have a lot of colors. Go to yeah, the matte probably. counter and they'll match your skin perfectly. And you want to get it closer towards the wedding because remember, skin yeah. changes color. So don't get it yet. And right now your skin might be a little tanner than usual because you're just coming out of summer. So... But they have I find every time I go to Sephora and I get a foundation, it seems that my skin's a different color. Yeah. Remember, there's different foundation for different seasons. Yeah. Skin changes color. So I would do it literally a few weeks before the wedding mm -hmm. and just have it so that you have your color match in case the stylist doesn't have it up into the hairline. It'd be a really nice cover. Get way up into the hairline without Hitting your, hitting your hair. Open and look up. I am going to use, which I absolutely love this stuff. It's NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. blender which is pointed so it can get into the corners. Now 
we're just going to take the rest and just make sure we pounce in the foundation. There's something about the sponge that just settles it in even better. The brush is good for application, but sometimes you just need that little extra airbrushed look. Nose. I'm going to use a bit of this bronzer stuff for contouring because it's super light and moussey and creamy. And so it is Chanel's Soleil Tan de Chanel Bronze Universel on the other side of the beauty blender. I'm going to have your neck all the way up. And we're just going to do very little soft contouring just to give her a little more definition in the jawline. But it's so faint. Some of these contour kits could be super dark. Her skin's a little dry, so this is a cream. Works nicely. Wow, nice. Gives her a nice little jawline there. The contour color is supposed to be matte. They don't have to be matte. Uh -huh. I, I use matte, I use cream. I've seen like contouring kits where it seemed like the darker color had like a shimmer in it also. I know, and sometimes that doesn't always work for yeah. everybody. And I, you know, it could be used, sure. It's a matter of preference. Uh -huh. I'm gonna take Max Pro Longwear Paint Pot. And the color we're gonna be using is Soft okra and this I like applying with my fingers so a little bit at a time and we're going to actually close your eye we're just going to pat it on the eyelid and this is going to act as our primer plus it gives us a nice clean base to start with too so that's important why this versus a more traditional primer? Uh, your eyeshadow won't move. Uh -huh. you close your eyes for a second. Let it just settle in and dry. It's crease proof. Uh -huh. Any kind of photography makeup is the route you want to go. Oh. It's a whole different, it's not just like everyday makeup. A little bit more photography based makeup. Cry proof is good. What is? Cry proof is good. Oh, cry proof is really important. I've been to weddings and I've seen people make that mistake. Oh, big time. Okay, now I'm going to take a bit of Cryolon TV paint stick in Shibui, S-H-I-B-U-I. And what I'm going to do is on some of these marks, give it a little tiny bit of coverage. I'm going to bounce it out on the same side. And then we're going to take a sponge work that in with the sponge. That way those marks don't pop out. So it's a slightly darker color and then you put the foundation right back over it. Cool. You're looking good here. Face looks like super perfect. I'm going to Zoom that in for a minute, just so you can see. So far, so good. Looking pretty and looking good on camera. Now, being that your dress is definitely in these sort of neutral tones, we're gonna work with an angled brush. I'm gonna take a bit of burnt orange. Work it right here. That's the first transition shade. Thank you. 
Same color? It's the same color. And now we're going to wipe off the excess. Now I'm going to blend it. Like really blend it. Next color we're going to take is a raw sienna. Again, very lightly get it on the brush, and we're now going to bring it into the center. Just apply it, and then we're going to. Blend it. Now, oops, sorry, it's okay. We're going to do that. Back in with a fluffy brush. Oopsie. And do more blending. <laughs> and then work it right up into the eyebrow. Cool. She's so photogenic. I'm so lucky. <laughs> Yeah, you really are. So we're gonna bring that in here, very, very light strokes. Don't go crazy. Too many people use way too much contouring. And we're just going to bring it a little bit over there. A little bit over there. I'm gonna take a little and we are gonna hollow out. Add more. Don't put too much on. And we're going to use our It Cosmetics Kabuki brush. I love this thing. It's soft and it just really does a great job. Final Liquid Liner by NYX. Not my makeup routine. Okay, here we go. We're going to go in with a bit of brown to soften it up. Let's see. I think I'm going to go in with this cypress again. Are you using brown powder? Mm -hmm. Just to soften it up, Tad.
That's the one Pat McGrath product I wasn't too pleased by was the uh, eyeliner that came with the um, copper eyeshadow. Oh yeah, I have to agree with you on that one. I love NYX's eyeliners. Uh, they make really incredible eyeliners. But again, it's a matter of preference, you know. Everyone uses a different yeah. product. Yeah. What this does is it really lifts up the eye by putting a little concealer. Right there. Perfect. A little Sophia Lauren trick. that lifts up your eye. Oh yeah. Of course we're going in with more blush and stuff and yeah. more, more under eye powder but that's what I like to do after. Winged liner. Clean that up. Yeah this side looks so much like more lifted. Oh well we didn't even yeah, do that. Yeah, but do you I mean. see what a yeah. difference? So basically a little trick I'm not going to show it to you again you take your I love this stuff the HD stuff uh -huh. and you're going to bring it a little bit underneath like that pat it in yeah. and then you take a bigger brush uh -huh. and you kind of dab it in let it dry out a little so it's easier to work yeah. with even nicer once we get the powder back oh, okay. underneath. Oh wow, then, then it's like perfection. These apricot and peach colors go really well with your dress. What brand gloss is this? Oh my god, my favorite, NYX. Oh, okay. It really makes great makeup, and it's it's actually not going to break the bank. It's really it's affordable, and it's really great stuff. The colors are incredible. I mean, I use everything. I have super expensive makeup. I have super cheap makeup. It's whatever works. So look at the curls. So like that's the type of curl we want to get. And it, look at it, it really has good bounce and staying power. Come on, this is so pretty. All right, we've got to. This Wait, you is want me to take this thing off?